Welcome to another video from Experiencing IT. Today I'll be looking at how to replace the hard drive on your computer without reinstalling Windows. For that I'm using this hard drive docking station. In this one I can plug both 2.5 and 3.5 and and inch hard drives. Another option would be a drive enclosure. There is a myriad of them and they are quite affordable. Yet another affordable option would be a SATA to USB cable adapter. And of course you should not forget the SSD. I'm using this relatively old Samsung but it will remarkably boost the performance of the computer. So why choose SSD over HDD? Well, basically an SSD is flash storage with no moving parts, while an HDD is magnetic storage with mechanical parts inside. This means SSDs have faster reading and writing speeds, I will measure sometimes and some read and write speeds in a while, better performance and reliability and for that reason they last longer, and they also use less energy and make less noise. This means that a computer with an SSD will have an overall performance boost. So let's measure some times on the mechanical drive. I will start by measuring how long the laptop takes to reboot. Ok, 1.20.06, I'll take note of that, I'm gonna cut directly into Windows and I'm going to check how long apps take to launch and I'm going to perform some disk benchmarks. So, to clone the HDD to SSD you will need an application called AOMA Backupper for Windows. I hope I said this correctly. Uh, there are other options available but they are paid ones and this one is free. And free is always good. To download the application head on to the link shown on screen, the link is also in the video description. Download and install the application. So, I already have the application installed on my computer. To clone the drive you'd go to clone and disk clone. But before starting let's take a closer look at this screen. Notice that my SSD is much smaller than my mechanical drive. 
Because Windows was freshly installed on this computer for the purpose of this video, I don't have a lot of files here, just some applications installed such as Google Chrome and Microsoft Office. Make sure the capacity of your SSD exceeds the used space on your HDD or you will have issues cloning the drive. If there are existing files on your SSD, make sure you back them up before cloning. All existing data on the SSD will be destroyed, which prompts me to ask you to read this disclaimer before proceeding. With that out of the way, let's finally clone the drive. First, let's select the source disk and click Next. And now let's select the destination disk and click again on Next. Make sure to select SSD alignment. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read about it. And let's click Start Clone. So, for those of you interested, cloning the disk took around 20 minutes. Let's install it now inside the laptop. If you are working on a laptop and if you'd like to reuse the old drive as additional storage, you can get one of these caddies that go where the CD-ROM drive usually goes. So we have now the SSD installed, let's start the benchmarks again with the reboot.
So, here we are with the final analysis and conclusion. From looking at the chart, it can be clearly seen how the laptop benefited from swapping the mechanical drive for the SSD, with all operations running in average 3.5 times faster. But the most interesting are the disk benchmarks. While in the sequential read and write operations the SSD is in average 5 times faster than the HDD, in the random read and write small files operations the SSD is in average 209 times faster than the HDD. This is a very important figure to have in account, as operating systems are comprised of small files. And that's why using an SSD as the system disk greatly improves the performance of the operating system, thus of the computer. So, in conclusion, if you still don't have an SSD, I would strongly advise you to get one. And to clone your old hard drive to the SSD, well, you just have to follow the instructions in this video. I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon.